In this video I'm going to explain how you can secure your WordPress blog. And there are several procedures that you can follow, some before you install it and others after you've installed it. Okay, if you haven't installed your WordPress blog yet, it's a good idea to change the default database prefix before making the installation. And you can easily do this by modifying the, this line here in the wp-config-sample.php file. What you want to do is where it says dollar sign table underscore prefix space equals space apostrophe wp underscore apostrophe semicolon you want to change it to something that's a bit more complex for example something like this the front part stays the same but you can see I've put 0 and a lowercase w 98 and then a lowercase p and then the underscore now once you make this change you then want to rename the wp-config-sample.php file to wp hyphen config.php and then you can proceed with the installation. If you've already installed your WordPress blog, here are some steps that you can take to improve the security of your existing installation. If you've manually installed WordPress, then the default administrator username will be admin, and you should change this into something that's harder to guess. To do this, log in to your WordPress admin area, scroll down here to users, and then add a new user, so click here where it says add new, and I'm going to give the new user the username Sam the man, and the email address and then the password put something quite complicated in and confirm that And do I want the password sent? No. Change the role to administrator and then click on there where it says add new user. There we go. Our new user is created. So what I'm going to do now is log out of admin. and then log in with my new username and the new password and click on login now what I'm going to do is go back to users and the old admin, I'm going to delete that. And we're going to attribute all the posts and links to Sam the man. So it's not going to lose anything that I've already posted. And click on confirm deletion. And there we go. That's done. Another thing you should do is restrict access to the wp-admin folder to only your IP address. And you can easily do this by placing a .ht access file in the wp-admin folder containing these lines. You want it to say deny from all, then you have a blank line, and then you say 
allow from and you put your IP address in the tag there and you can see what your IP is at this URL which is whatismyip.org another thing you should do is restrict the access to most files in the wp-includes and the wp-content folders the access to everything except images, CSS and JavaScript files can be blocked. To do this, create a .htaccess file and place these rules in it. Order allow and then comma deny. Deny from all. Then you want to have a tag that says files space tilde and then this code here followed by allow from all on another line and then you have the close tag for files there. You should also protect the wp-admin folder with a password. And of course you should keep your WordPress installation and plugins updated to the latest versions. You can also check your WordPress installation for vulnerabilities using the scanner that you'll find on this page here which is blogsecurity.net forward slash WordPress forward slash tools forward slash WP hyphen scanner.